Okay, hello everyone. So today is the 26th of February, um, 26th of not February, September, right? Thursday, 26th of September. And the reason I've got this up today, as you can see, we've got news here, as usual. And I've posted the swing hours. So as you can see here, let's just do this, right? You got set up there at 3.15 before that news, right? 2.50 to 3.15, that's a setup time. And then we've got 4.30 here, which is right after he starts talking, okay? And about an hour later, slightly after an hour, an hour and a half, we've got 5.35 to 5.50, okay? Uh, and if that causes a change, that could push us to there, which could keep pushing until the closing. Now, here you have to be a bit careful, all right? The reason I say so is, um, this is a bit tricky, okay? So if this becomes a retracement, let's say the market went, I don't know, let's just hypothetically speaking, let's say the market went up and then retraced into here, or it went down and retraced into here, okay? Then, you know, pushing is okay. The same setup for this as well. Let's say the market went up, and then it retraced into 4.30 or it, re it retraced into 5.35.50, then you can get back in there, okay? But because these are the pre-news setups, and then this is right after he starts talking. So in 10 minutes, I don't know what's gonna happen, but, okay, but this is on the cards for us, and this is something disruptive, all right? So these hours will be important. It's, a, it's not a bad uh, opportunity if you um, if you keep on top of your trade. Okay, just be on top of your trade, and that's how it is. Um, if you look at the um, if you look at what's going on there, um, then you'll understand what I'm talking about. Same thing with um, that five um, forty five fifty zone. That's also going to be the same kind of thing. All right. Uh, and the, like I said, 250.315 is not a bad setup, okay? So that is not a bad place where the market can look for a change. Okay, it's looking sexy. All right, so let's get smashing. Now then, I've already posted the hours. Let's, okay, here it is. Okay, just a slight adjustment there. All right, there we go. So now what, this is gold. Let's take a look at gold. Okay, once again, weekly, as you know, we're going up, so no dramas there. On the daily, as you can see, we're up here. These were the swing days. Remember, market pushing up Monday, Tuesday. Now we're on a Thursday. Now the next, do we have a next swing day for gold? Yeah, that's going to be a Friday. So Monday, Friday. Okay, so that's good. What do I have here? It's... LCL1 there, 2687. So I'm going to put 2687 on the radar for us there. Okay. And on the weekly, you already know 84, 2775. It's a bit out there. So we're just going to. I did put it out there, I think. In any case, it's too far out there. We'll just keep this on the radar. Obviously, this is going to be a place where you want to manage trade. Now, yesterday I talked about this zone. I've marked it in as green. Market tapped in exactly at the trading hour. If you went long here, that would have been okay. If you went short from the high, you would have been also okay. But remember, if we're going up, you know, it's safer to buy the lows to go up. Now, here the market's already sweeped that stop off Asia. There was a no, this is all good, actually. So the market tapped into there. I am now going to get rid of this or maybe just extend it out a little bit. Okay. Now, for a support level on the daily, you know, we've got that. If the market does a sudden rush to 2646, you should buy it. Okay. So this is a daily PSD. If we dip it down into there, that's fine. That's a buy zone. On the weekly... Also, the buy zone is here, which we talked about before, 2585 and 94. Because they're weekly, they're not changing, okay? 
8594 okay but because we're going up nicely impulse wave market going sideways buying the lows and buying the support levels to push up is okay if the market breaks there is a breaking opportunity okay because the market can do that <clears throat> because we've got a disruptive move <clears throat> coming towards 430 so after the 253.15 setup the market can be disrupted and it could push and breakouts can occur okay so no problem there at all, all right um that's that let's take a look at the euro dollar now with the euro dollar as well we've talked about this level being um a sell zone and we talked about stop sweeping as well so which i will often mention and this as you can see is a swing hour okay so i did mention we don't need to no i say i always say no buying at the tops okay and this was the zone here and 11.35 was a place we did have. We can get rid of that, okay? As you can see, this is quite nice to see. The support for the day will be 51, which is 11.15. If that breaks, don't stand in front of it. But 11.15 can also be a nice place to buy because, there, because it fills in this little gap there and it can stop stop sweep as well sweeping the stops on the weekly okay it's already done as you can see 58 that's 1078 which was done earlier on here okay so no real dramas the market basically just came back into the order block okay and it did that nicely swing hour to swing hour so that's a beautiful swing hour to swing hour and then market bouncing back so this, if you want to keep pushing up, it's doable. Just be mindful that's the support. And your heads up, 64 is 1224, which is a sell zone. Okay, so I'm going to put 1224 up here. All right, there. So that could also be a target, not a problem. So if you want to buy on a pullback, testing the low, sweeping stops, 1115. At a trade hour, it's not a bad idea. Okay, and then you can push it back up. The market's got gaps here, as you can see. So, you know, wanting to go back up is obviously on the card. And this gap just got filled. So this zone is now kind of pretty much done. So I can get rid of this 1163. It's already done deal. Let's take a look at Euro. Um, let's take a look at SP500. SP 500 as well. Now, yesterday I did say you could sell from the highs there. Okay. And also, remember with the indices, we had Monday, Tuesday, and Friday, right? So, that. Now, this was the zone I said if we break out, don't stand in front of it. You can, in fact, buy into that as a target. And this is what Asia has done. Yesterday, also, if you bought here, look this is a trade hour see trade hour trade hour market comes into five seven eleven okay how does that work out well five seven eleven where was that 63 five seven eleven how did i mark five seven eleven maybe because of the gap there but i would have normally okay maybe you can check yesterday's video okay so 5.711, maybe it was a target or something there. But this is nice. It's a runner. Okay, so going up. And Friday is a swing day, I think, on this one as well. Yeah, indices, correct. Today's a Thursday. That's your Friday. Looks like I've got target going up there. So 72.5774. five seven seven four all right so it's got room to come up nice and easy if you got your 80 a.m strategy you can definitely just follow the targets you can see how it's working nicely same here yesterday look market comes to the highs okay 
sweeps stops it's a trading hour okay it's a trading hour this is look it's a 15 minute chart so one two three four five bars here okay at the end of the day it's an hour and 15 minutes and then the market at the PSD level crashes down okay you don't want to be trading in the middle of nowhere so here you would have covered your trade where you would have wanted to trade afterwards is the low or this zone which I've marked in because of the gap right so the market fills the gap it's a trade hour again okay in this zone and then the market pushes up okay so it's all fine um, so to follow that upwards you can you can if the market does come back down if it doesn't come back down and it keeps pushing up today okay then obviously let me get rid of this obviously I've got a place here yeah if it keeps pushing up obviously it's going to go in that direction because the weekly is a breakout remember so this is why when there's a breakout with a PSD I say don't stand in front of it because you just want to you know push it forward so pullbacks into a trading hour at a good price it's your game okay this is this is where it is okay even if you sold there you should have been okay because the high if you bought here closing the gap I've marked this level in you should have been okay as well all right so if it pulls back going back up is also on the cards you can wait for the news because like I said we've got surprise aspects which might surprise the market okay so that disruptive behavior is going to happen towards as the market comes closer to 430 but that 250-315 setup is already you know going to be on the cards so be careful okay but it's looking you know it's looking straightforward let's take a look at Dow Jones oops Now with the indices, as you know, it's all the same thing. Um, with NASDAQ, we said we've got room to go up to close the gap. And also Dow Jones. Remember on the weekly, right, this edge here. Okay. And, ooh, look at that. And this was, what, 8.30. All right. So yesterday was Wednesday. We had what eight fifty, didn't we? Eight fifty to nine thirty. So eight fifty bar is here. Okay. And nine thirty is this one, I think. Yeah, nine thirty is this one. So in this zone, the market kind of stopped right on the weekly pivot beauty. Okay. And then bouncing up. <clears throat> now then. Okay, so this is this zone, I said also, if it dips down, remember, we can buy in this zone. It's pretty close. It can still get down, uh, but tomorrow is a swing day. So like I said, we have to be careful because of Friday being a swing day. Okay, but this is a nice Wednesday dropping down and Thursday, Friday, maybe we can push up. If you want to buy into it, you certainly can. Okay. This is 15 minute chart. If you if you want to buy again, you got to buy low. Okay, so it's got to come into this zone. You see where the gaps are. If you want to buy, you can do that. If it keeps pushing up and up and up, okay, then it's a different ball game. Also, the sell off yesterday, okay, was I think 7:15. Was it? What was it? We had four. We had Wednesday, so five o'clock. We had that's your five o'clock there, okay. Five o'clock, and before that, the setup width was 245. Is that 245? Pretty close to 245. That's your. 245 there and then we should have had 1540 1550 15 4 15 50 is there okay and that's basically it all right and then with the news spike and a big push down cleaning stops and selling off all right 
Um, now we've got a breakage down here, but we have to be careful. The gap on there is already closed and we've got target into 54. So now we've got to be careful. 41634, because if the market gets into that 41, um, six three four forty one six three four now this is going to be a target okay so if the market sells off which is doable too okay it might push us into a friday so market sold off retraced and pushing down into that forty one 634 I think it was there all right okay and you can see it's right on there okay pretty much so I'm gonna just get rid of that this green bar will be the zone okay so there's still room to push down into here all right and another place where the market can sell off is at that 42524 42524 we'll keep it on the cards there all right so it's doable now then okay so it's a little tricky so be mindful okay with sp500 as well if it keeps pushing up and up and up and touches that pst level expect a disruption at the trading hours let's take a look at nasdaq Now, this is NASDAQ, and this is not a surprise, okay? So, if you've, like, played your cards right, you should have been on top of your game. Also, yeah, there you go. All right, so market, look, breaks out, pulls back into the swing hours, okay? The trading hours, remember? 8, what was it, 8.15 or 8.30, something like that. Wednesday, yeah, 8.50. Okay, so this is your 8.50 bar. Right, it's a 15 minute chart and then you got 930 which is there all right so there you go okay so breaks out pulls back into the zone going into the targets beautiful trading as you can see let's see how the morning was actually with this one 12 o'clock we had 1205 didn't we yes we did so if you follow that that's your london session okay 12.05, this is your 5 o'clock, which, which we add 5 o'clock, so that worked out nicely, and then into there, into the targets, beautiful trading. I did say this could be a nice reversal as well, I recall, because of the, yeah, because of the events happening there, it was like pretty cool, okay, and those are your targets, so it's all nice and easy, done, so this might now look for a reversal setup tomorrow, being a swing day okay so monday you might want to sell it off we'll see how things pan out let's take a look at bitcoin now with bitcoin i said you know the market still has room to go up but do not buy in a supply zone all right remember that's your supply zone so no buying here i said you could only buy if it kind of like comes down and gives us an opportunity this is looking too much of a mess. So I'm just going to get rid of this. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> All right. I'm just going to extend this a little bit. There we go. All right. So you can see how the market is using that line. Remember, this is what we've learned also in technical analysis. Goodbye, kiss, break up. Now this line becomes a support. Okay, and so on and so on. There we go. So let's see where we're up to. Okay, yeah, not a lot of movement. Now with this one as well, remember, we had Wednesday and Thursday for a swing day. Okay. Well, that's your Wednesday. And that could be your Thursday. All right. Remember, the market sweep the stops nicely, has not closed below. So that's the sweep, okay? And it's running up nice and easy. So it's got room to push up probably, okay? 
um, but you have to be careful because of the good buy kisses here. This is too, this is too much of a sandwich zone. Look, 67, 71, 65, 500. Sixty-five, five hundred is there. Okay, is it? Yeah, sixty-four, three hundred. Sorry, sixty-four, three hundred. Okay, two seventy-seven, and then you got sixty-five, five hundred up here. Okay, so these levels are still doable, but you got to be careful with this one here. It's a good buy kiss. It's closing the gaps. And it is a supply zone. All right, you can see there on your 15 minute chart manipulation bars happening here. All right, so if you want to buy it, just do the pullback. All right, so this is your goodbye kiss line here. If we dip back down here, close the gap, come here and go up, I'm okay with that with a tight stop loss. Okay. Other than that, I'm not okay with buying at these levels or these are a bit too high. Okay, so be mindful on the weekly because we've got that upwards break. I'm still thinking that 57 is not a bad idea. Okay, so holding on to your guns might pay off. 